everybody. Welcome to Bestseller TV. I'm Taryn Winterbrill. We're here with Sylvie DeGusto. She's the author of The Image of Leadership, How Leaders Package Themselves to Stand Out for the Right Reasons. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much for having me. I'm super excited to be with you. We're so excited you're here. As soon as you open the book, the first thing you see is people packaging is what mm -hmm. I do. So tell everybody, what does that mean? What is people packaging? Well, you have to be aware that you are kind of a product in an organization. As a leader, you sell yourself and the product that you have to offer, which is yourself, right? And your packaging says something about you. When people look at you, they see something in you, uh, they judge you in just a blink of an eye. You make a first impression and hopefully a lasting impression on everybody. And so I'm in the business of first impressions. I help leaders to understand what their first impression, their packaging says about them. Do you think nowadays, Sylvie, people still aren't aware of the first impression they're making, let's say when they go on a job interview, are people still walking through the door not looking presentable? Absolutely, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. It, it happens all the time. Uh, my, it's my business. I'm a speaker in organizations and I go into organizations and explain to leadership teams or sales teams or I'm part of onboarding programs. Um, to make people understand what their first impression says about them and what impact it has in a second step on a customer decision making process right. or on their own career path or on decisions if they get promoted or not. So let's get into it. So tell us some a guideline. What do you what do you teach when you go into speak into organizations? Mm -hmm. This this, you know, first impression sort of roadmap. Yes. What do you what are some so of the techniques? First of all, you have to understand it's a process of it's brain performance. It has nothing to do with if you're a good person, a bad person, if you're in your body or in the body of Mother Teresa. We all do it. We judge each other. Mm -hmm. We see somebody and we think that we know something about the person. Right. But actually, it's just very simple brain performance that is happening and there is science in behind and there are uh, scientific um, results that tell us that, for example, within a blink of an eye, a few seconds, seven seconds, our brain makes 11 major decisions about each other. Wait, you said, say it again. So within seven, seven seconds, seconds, up to 11 decisions. About so each other. Wow. People immediately decide, are you knowledgeable or not? Are you trustworthy or not? Are you successful or wow. not? Are you reliable or not? And so on. And it is very important that you understand this is just happening. You cannot stop it. Mm. It is happening. However, what you can do is you can influence what happens afterwards. Okay. Because afterwards, a very powerful source is going to work either for you or against you. Okay. And it's confirmation bias. Confirmation because, bias. Confirmation bias. Because people want to be right. Mm. They are looking for proof. They ignore anything that goes against their initial first impression because they are looking for proof. They want to be right in their initial idea what they think about you. So let's talk about controlling what happens. This digital footprint, because a first impression is usually a digital one, what are your suggestions? What are your guidelines? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I want you to understand that actually you should not behave different online that you would behave offline, right? Okay. You and I wouldn't walk into a room and just blast out the seven problems we had the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And some people do that. They yeah. think it's an anonymous room out there. And actually it's not. If there are two things that don't fit together or don't belong together, it's private and it's internet. And we mm -hmm. wouldn't do that in an offline world too, right? right? We wouldn't rant just to random people or say, well, oh, this has to stay in this room. So the business etiquette skills and the social etiquette skills actually didn't really change of online and offline, right? Mm -hmm. You behave in a way you would also behave with people in a room in real world. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's such an interesting topic and obviously everybody has an opinion. So thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you very much. And if you'd like more information on the book, just check out our website. It's csweetbookclub.com, c-sweetbookclub.com. I'm Taryn Winterbrill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Bestseller TV. Mm -hmm.